Rock and Pop Stories. Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife, 1983. This song could only be a hit, as it's the joint offspring of two songwriters with a knack for finding an unstoppable hit. On the one hand, Jim Valance, author or co-writer of songs for Rod Stewart, Joe Cocker, Alice Cooper, Kiss, Aerosmith, and many others, some of his biggest hits having been co-written with Brian Adams, who is our guest today. A teenager, Brian has already traveled many continents, his father being a diplomat. Unafraid of anything, he sent a demo to A&M at the age of 17 and landed his contract in the process. His first recordings were rather confidential successes, but his songwriting talent enabled him to co-write two tracks for Rocker's Kiss. It was on this occasion that he met Jim Valance, the two set to work on Brian's next album. They set up studio at Little Mountain Sound in Vancouver at the far western end of vast Canada. They went in on August 13th, 82, and didn't come out until October 20th. It was during one of these long, studious days that Brian laid down a few chords while repeating over and over the first words that came to mind. It cuts like a knife. After a while, Valance follows him and completes what will become the chorus with but it feels so right. It's Valance again, who comes up with the idea of backing vocals with a simple na na na, referring to tunes like the Beatles, Hey Jude, or Steam's hit, na na hey hey, kiss mim got by, and it works. If Jim and Brian are champions at writing hits for this song and the accompanying album, they have the support of sound wizard Bob Clearmountain. It's he who mixes the song and, of course, the whole album and gives this track its power. Brian Adams' pretty face does the rest with a video of him and his band playing in a swimming pool. Empty, of course, but which gives us the opportunity to slip in a very pretty young girl putting on her bathing suit to take a dip. The distracted one probably didn't notice the absence of water. I know it's bad form to mock, but some 80s music videos don't travel well in time. The song launched Brian Adams' career in earnest, becoming one of his classics, featured on all his compilation albums. He shot to worldwide fame in the early 90s with the huge hit soundtrack to Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and his hit, Everything I Do, I Do It For You. But that's another not exactly rock and roll story. 